everything was cool up front till they went to the back and there was a bunch of old fucking niggas and fucking young boys back there all ass naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking shit about Boosie. Rumors are going around that Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade are throwing creepy gay parties at their house, and it looks like Gabrielle has finally decided to address all the hearsay about her husband's sexuality. And you can either sign up for it and like swim in it, and you can have a, an amazing life swimming in the bullshit, and then you wonder why you can't sleep at night. Speculation about Dwayne Wade being on the DL is nothing new. However, several industry insiders recently made some shocking allegations against Dwayne, claiming that he and Gabrielle organized depraved parties at their house where older Hollywood men are entertained by young boys. Well, Gabrielle is now finally setting the record straight on all these crazy rumors. So let's get into it. I choose to center my peace and my self-worth now. Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union are once again making headlines for all the wrong reasons after rumors surfaced that these two are throwing wild parties for closeted Hollywood men. For years, Dwayne's sexuality has been a hot topic on the internet, with fans speculating that Dwayne's either gay or bi. And these speculations didn't just come out of nowhere. Several people who used to work closely with Dwayne have dropped hints that Dwayne's not the wholesome family man he appears to be in public. Back in 2010, Dwayne's former business partner, Richard Von Hootman, claimed that Dwayne used to host secret substance-fueled parties while he was still married to his first wife. According to Richard, Dwayne had a four-bedroom place on the first floor of a high-rise, and he recalled one incident when the cleaning crew called him to complain about the trash department. I went down there and what I saw was disgusting, Richard said. The apartment was trashed, filthy, and it wasn't the first time. Richard claimed he saw used condoms on the floor, empty champagne and hard liquor bottles, nearly finished blunts, and half-eaten food rotting on tables and furniture. Apparently, Dwayne and his crew would have these parties a few times a week, and they'd invite dozens of people, mostly rappers and random women that they'd picked up in clubs. The parties reportedly continued after Dwayne divorced his wife and started dating Gabrielle, and Richard said Gabrielle would often join in on the fun. Now, Richard didn't mention anything about Dwayne hooking up with other men at these parties. However, considering all the allegations that came from other industry insiders, that's definitely something to think about. What's also crazy is that Dwayne's ex-wife claimed during their divorce that Dwayne infected her with an STD around 2007, right around the time Richard claimed Dwayne started throwing his secret parties. And though Dwayne later tried to sue his ex-wife for defamation of character, the allegations surrounding his sexuality never really went away. And it didn't help that Dwayne himself unknowingly added fuel to these rumors when he admitted that he used to enjoy wearing his sister's clothes and heels. In a recently resurfaced interview, Dwayne talked about supporting his daughter, Zaya, when she came out as transgender. And here's what he said about wearing women's clothing when he was younger. When it hit, when it hit my doorstep at three years old, like I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, Right, and the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels, I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. So at first I said to myself, oh no, I did that. So I ain't just doing the things that I did. And then it kept going further and further and then me and my wife had to look at each other and say, well, well, what if? And at that moment, everything that I was taught went out the window because now I'm a parent. And my only, my sole job and my sole responsibility is to make sure that this kid grow up knowing that it's supported and is loved. Now, speaking of Zaya, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding Dwayne and Gabrielle's parenting choices, and Dwayne's ex-wife and Zaya's mother, Savan, claimed that Dwayne and Gabrielle encouraged Zaya to change gender so they could profit from her transition. And the reason why Savan was so upset by Zaya's transition was because Dwayne and Gabrielle kept talking on Zaya's behalf, and it seemed like they were really milking Zaya's gender identity for attention. Zaya, formerly known as Zion, was assigned male at birth. However, Dwayne claimed in an interview that Zaya knew her gender identity was different when she was just three years old. She was the one who sat down with us as a family and said, hey, I don't think I'm gay, right? I identify myself as a young lady, but she's, she's known that for nine years. She's known since she's, she was three. She's known since she was three years old. Another thing that stirred up controversy is that Dwayne and Gabrielle filed a request to legally change Zaya's name and gender before Zaya turned 18. 
Zaya's mom, Savan, tried to block this request, and she filed documents, claiming that the custody agreement she made with Dwayne states that Dwayne is obligated to discuss with her and obtain her input in the major decisions affecting their children. However, Savan didn't succeed in blocking Zaya's name and gender change, and in February 2013, the court granted Dwayne and Gabrielle's request to change 15-year-old Zaya's legal identity. Dwayne later fired back at Savon on Instagram and accused her of centering herself and her needs without regard to her children. However, this message didn't land well with fans, and they said Dwayne and Gabrielle are the ones centering themselves in any conversation. Meanwhile, rumors about Dwayne and Gabrielle's unconventional marriage and their alleged secret gay parties gained more traction on social media after Jaguar Wright claimed that a lot of the so-called Hollywood power couples, like the Wades and the Smiths, are engaging in some wild and possibly illegal activities in the privacy of their home. Jaguar claimed that Will and Jada used to throw wild parties with young men at their house. However, ever since the whole entanglement situation blew up, the parties moved to the Wade household. All of this was going on like all of these mother be doing all of this wild <sighs> they ain't doing as much i guess now because they getting old i guess it just moved over to the wade house jaguar clarified that she wasn't saying all this just because Dwayne and gabrielle supported zaya's transition and she claimed that one famous artist told her he personally witnessed some depraved stuff going on at one of Dwayne and gabrielle's house parties i'm not saying that because of their trans daughter I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and there was a bunch of old and young boys back there all ass naked in the Wade house. Jaguar also slammed Gabrielle for throwing shade at rapper Boozy and she said it looks like Gabrielle is projecting her own issues and doubts on everyone else. I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking about Boozy. Maybe you suspicious of him because of the that's happening in your house. Out of here. These be talking greasy on all kinds of shit. But I don't like when these so called black Hollywood couples want to come in and then they want to sit there and play gatekeeper. Meanwhile, they're abusing and misusing all kinds of young people. And guess what? Don't nobody want to admit that they are victim. So they pretend to be friends. By the way, Boozy previously called out Dwayne and Gabrielle for letting Zaya change her name and gender before she turned 18, and that's when Gabrielle fired back at Boozy, suggesting that he's the one who's struggling with his sexuality. Very much Almost so. like thou doth protest too much, little Booz. I'm just, I'm a little. You got a lot <laughs> on your mind. Um. But then Boozy clapped back at Gabrielle on Twitter, writing, "LOL, the whole world know I love women, and the whole world know your husband love D." Hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. Boozy also claimed that he didn't want to expose Dwayne. However, Gabrielle started the drama, so he had to set the record straight. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews, and here you go. Go bang him with that though and wait on a script, you little white girl. Now, fans were initially divided on this, and while some accused Boozy of doing too much, others claimed that Boozy just said what the whole industry already knows. However, Boozy didn't stop there, and during his recent appearance on Vlad TV, he accused Gabrielle of being a hypocrite because she tried to use being gay as an insult. So for her to say that, it makes her a hypocrite also. Yeah. You don't want nobody to talk about nothing that goes on with those situations, but you're saying somebody has d on their mind. So if you do got d on your mind, you feel some type of way about them. Baby, you a hypocrite, babe. Oh, so she's gay bashing you, basically. That's you gay bashing me. Are you gay bashing? You're a hypocrite. And it didn't take long before rumors about Dwayne and Gabrielle's wild gay parties resurfaced again, with fans saying there's definitely something that's making Gabrielle act defensive every time anyone says something about her marriage. But how did Gabrielle respond to these rumors? Well, during her recent appearance on the Bloomberg Originals series, Idea Generation, Gabrielle was asked how she deals with all these crazy speculations about her and Dwayne, and she said it doesn't bother her at all because she only takes criticism from people she respects. How do I process criticism? Um, it depends on the person I'm getting the criticism from. If you are someone that I respect that I know you are looking out for my best interest, I take it for exactly what it is, and I try to see what you see. If you're somebody who, you know, you 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 think criticizing is the same as insulting, I don't call that criticism, I don't even receive it. I'm not open to that. 
However, fans are saying it feels like Gabrielle is putting on a brave face and trying too hard to convince everyone she's unbothered. As for the rumored gay parties going down at the Wade household, it looks like a lot of people are convinced these aren't just rumors, and some fans are even saying that it's probably Gabrielle who's the main party planner. One fan said, Dwayne is the wife, while Gabrielle is the husband and the brain of the family, in which she masterminds those secret parties. And another fan added, Dwayne is sweeter than Grandma's coffee on Easter Sunday. 95% of these celebrities, athletes, and entertainers are not who they portray themselves to be when in front of the camera. The truth is more stranger than fiction. But how do you feel about all these rumors surrounding Dwayne and Gabrielle? Do you think there's something really creepy going on at the Wade household? Comment down below.